Hello everyone. In last video, we were discussing about speed with direction or velocity. In this video, we will discuss more about the term velocity. Regarding the speed with direction or velocity, there is one more term we will use generally. Name of the term is average velocity. So now what is mean of average velocity? When an object moves along a straight line at a variable speed, we express the magnitude of its rate of motion in terms of average velocity. When you will use the term average velocity, suppose there is one object and that object is traveling along a straight line, along a straight path, but the speed of that object is varying. Varying in the sense, just like in terms of a car while traveling on the road on a highways, we will vary the speed. Sometimes we will increase the speed, sometimes we will decrease the speed, sometimes we will keep the speed constant. So there are so much of a variation in the speed we are doing. So like that, whenever that object does that variation in the speed in a straight line path, that place we will take the term average velocity, right? Let us go in detail. Let us take one example. A car travels a distance of 100 km in two hours. Its average speed we will consider as a 50 km per hour. See here we have mentioned a distance and here we have mentioned the speed. So, whenever the car is traveling, as we know, it will vary its speed. It's not that in that particular journey, when this car travels on the highway, so the, whenever there is increased slope, decreased slope, particularly for the road, sometime road will be inclined, inclined upward direction or inclined downward direction, sometime road will be flat. So, whenever such situations come, accordingly we will do variation in the speed, right? So, this 50 km speed what we are saying, that 50 km is not all the time. So, the car not might travel a 50 km hour per hour all the time. Sometime it might have traveled faster and sometime slower than 50 km per hour. So, what does it mean that whenever we are traveling with the car, it's not that continuously we will drive the uh, car with the speed of 50 km per hour. We will do the variation. Sometime that speed will be 10 km per hour, sometime it will be 10, 20, sometime it will be 30, sometime it will be 45, sometime it will be exact 50 km per hour. But there is so much of a variations in the speed. Sometime it is faster, sometime it is slower. So there that motion of the car is non-uniform. There is no any consistency in the speed we will say that motion as a non-uniform motion. In that particular case or for such objects, we will consider the speed as an average speed. So simply for this 100 km, it has taken 2 hours. So average speed, how we will calculate? 100 km distance divided by the time taken 2 hours. So 100 divided by 2 it is 50 km per hour. So like that this average speed we will take. Now, I want to calculate the change in velocity. There is one more term regarding with this velocity is change in velocity. How we will calculate the change in velocity? For that we need two terms. One is the final velocity and one is the initial velocity. The object which is traveling, what initial velocity that object has and at the end how much velocity that object has achieved. The difference between that we will call it as a change in velocity. Once you know the change in velocity, things will be easy. Average velocity, how we will calculate? We know the initial velocity u, we will denote it as a u, and final velocity we will denote as a v. So initial velocity per final, final velocity divided by 2. So simply take average of this initial and final velocity, we will get the average velocity. So v average is equal to u plus v divided by 2. So like that, these things, this formula will be useful for the numerical. To solve average velocity also we can give like total displacement divided by total time taken remember here we have mentioned a displacement here is velocity so velocity and displacements are the vector quantities so their magnitude and direction both are important so whenever we are saying average velocity average velocity will be total displacement divided by total time taken right so whenever velocity will be there we need to mention the direction for example, if the car has traveled 50 km in a one hour going west, then velocity of the car would be 
50 km per hour westwards. Here we have mentioned the direction or 50 km per hour westwards. We can write km per hour like this or kph km per hour in short cut we can write. But here we need to mention that that car has traveled a distance of 40 km per hour, 50, 50 km per hour in a time duration of one hour. But the thing is, it is going in a westward direction. Here we have mentioned the direction. Whenever you are talking about the velocity, we have to give, we have to mention the direction. So average velocity, change in velocity, these are the very important terms in case of a speed with direction or velocity. Thank you.